Hello, my awesome Aries people. I missed you guys. It's Thursday already. It's almost Friday, almost weekend time. I'm excited for us. Aries, hang in there. It's almost Friday. <clears throat> Aries, I missed you. Hope everything is going well for you, wherever you are. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, we're going to ask <clears throat> what's coming up for you, Aries, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your summit journey. Second part of this video, we're going to do reading regarding your soulmate, the person that you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally. What's what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Aries. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries. For Aries, highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life. And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Aries in their life? And how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? going on here this one over here is trying to hide from me but here it is <clears throat> oh your energy is beautiful Aries you are admired by people recognized for your accomplishments yeah people view you as attractive enigmatic yeah whatever it is that you're concentrating on you're gonna be successful yeah whatever is heavily on your mind right now yeah, this is you being victorious. Yeah, you're waiting on a communication to happen. Yeah, this is you not knowing whether this is truly over between you and your soulmate or if there's another chapter. This is you trying to figure out. This is you using your wisdom, great intuition to make wise decisions in your life, especially when it comes to people surrounding you like family members, neighbors, friends, co-workers, you see? You see very clearly that, like your intuition is telling you that you can't trust some of the people and you are correct. See, you are guarded for reason, you see? Because you, you sense uh, that some people are not genuine towards you. They're not authentic with you. Yeah, and you are correct. Here we see two snakes and fake angel with fake smile. Yeah. <clears throat> but there are some people here that showing up with high vibration energy that mean you well. Ooh, what's happening? The tower moment. Let's see, universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their summit journey? Wow, <clears throat> whatever it is that you're doing for a living you are successful at it you are diligent you are bringing profit in whether you're working for yourself or somebody else this is you bringing profit in yeah you are admired for your accomplishments you make a difference in people's lives yeah whether you uh, offering services or producing or making something yeah this is success this is you being a pro at what you do yeah beautiful energy yeah, so you view your soulmate as not reciprocating. You view yourself as single right now. Yeah. Um, this shows me that you recognize your soulmate as not putting work into this relationship. Being in and out of your life, in and out of your life, not reciprocating, not communicating, not expressing emotions, not making a commitment. And your back is turned towards them. It's like you're concentrating on things that are important to you right now. Yeah, you feel like this person is not meeting you halfway. Yeah, not relating to you like they should. That's how you feel because of them not uh, meeting you halfway. Yeah, see, whatever it is you're wishing for, you're gonna accomplish wish fulfillment. So keep being proactive, keep being passionate. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at this. Seven of Cups twice on top of each other. So uh, there are people that are not authentic towards you in your life. 
uh, in more than one group. So let's, I'm just giving you an example. One could be friends, some fake friends, and one could be relatives, or could be <clears throat> friends and coworkers. So you recognize that there are some fake people in your life that you need to let go of. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life and how is Aries currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> yeah, you are very strong. You've been through a lot in life, you see? You've been through a lot in life. Yeah, look how resilient you are. Strong-willed, independent. <clears throat> wow. The difference between the energy that you put into this relationship and the energy, work, effort that your soulmate put into this relationship is humongous. It's like night and day. Yeah, you are showing up as very mature, consistent, reliable, with high standards, integrity, honest, you see? And for some reason, this person didn't meet you halfway. Yeah, they didn't um, listen to your valid concerns, didn't communicate, didn't express emotions, didn't make a commitment, whether they couldn't or were scared to. Yeah, you see, you're recognizing that you need to let some people go. Yeah, people who are not authentic in your life, people who are draining you. You see very clearly who those people are. <clears throat> Be careful with some people that you're going to let go because they're going to try to come back to you with more of the same drama. They're going to try to give you empty words of promises, apologies but they won't be able to prove themselves to you. So be careful who you allow back into your life. Yeah, you already know who your friends are, who your enemies are. Yeah, you see things very clearly. You have very high standards for yourself. Yeah, beautiful energy to describe you, Empress energy, whether you're male or female. What is this tower about? Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries in their life. And how is Aries currently doing on the soulmate journey? In about a minute, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, you see? So this shows that you had to walk away from your soulmate connection for valid reasons. Yeah, and you are single right now. This is you single, not in a relationship. Yeah, you see? Oh, you have a lot of work. There's a lot on your shoulders, a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders. Please, please don't forget to give yourself time for leisure, to rest, um, whether you work for yourself or somebody else. You have to have at least one day off in a week, one full day off in a week to rest, to recharge your batteries. Yeah, yes. <clears throat> because this is showing that you're doing too much, <clears throat> you're overworking yourself, at times too stressed, and it's going to affect how you sleep, how you rest, yeah, how you function, yeah, it's very important that you give yourself at least one day a week for leisure time, yeah, your energy is beautiful, Empress energy, my goodness, yeah, <clears throat> let's see what's going on with your soulmate, Numbers, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries and how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries and how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? <clears throat> this one, nope, this one right here. Very strong energy. Extra message. Your soul, yeah, they scared. They petrified of being rejected by you. They want to communicate. They want to break the silence. They're panicking right now, not knowing what to do next. Scared. Communication problems are showing up here. Wow. You are very psychic intuitive. This person is intimidated by your intuition because they know they can't just come in with empty words, promises that they're going to have to prove themselves to you if they want another chance, new beginning with you. You are very perceptive. Yes, you are very intuitive. <clears throat> yeah, I see. This person is not communicating. The page of wands, which stands for unexpected communication, is reversed. This person is scared of breaking the silence and being rejected by you. They miss you a lot. But they do recognize, which is a good sign, they do recognize the fact why you had to let them go because they didn't put work into this relationship. So it's good that they see that clearly. 
that um, you had no choice but to release this connection. Yeah, the analyzing this a lot, thinking a lot, reflecting a lot. Universe, please show us. <clears throat> they notice that you are silent. <clears throat> Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries and how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? I just realized here is Taurus. A lot of you are dealing with Taurus and Virgo. Hmm. Virgo again and Gemini. <clears throat> this is how they view you. Marriage material, very attractive, independent person. Yeah, you're not chasing anybody. You're not desperate for anyone's attention. You're not clingy or needy. This person respects you. Yeah, you stand in your power. They want you back so badly. This is them wishing, hoping, praying to hear from you. This person is scared that if they reach out first, you're going to reject them. However, they're coming towards you, even though they petrified of your judgment, rejection. This is them trying to be brave enough to muster up enough courage to approach you. You see, deep down inside, they're yearning for long-term relationship. But for the second time, they're showing up as Knight of Wands, which concerns me. But the good thing is that they recognize the difference between you and them, meaning they recognize how much work you put into this and how little work they put into it. You see this? They recognize it, which is a good sign. They recognize that they've been in and out of your life, not consistent. Yeah. And be, yeah, you see, they want to apologize. But what concerns me is that their back is turned towards apologies, which means that this person is almost certain that they won't be able to prove themselves through actions. Like um, this person uh, has hard time admitting to their mistakes and apologizing. <clears throat> yeah. This is them missing you, loving you. This person loves you. They're holding Ace of Cups, but they think you let them go for good. A lot of you are dealing with Pisces, Aries, and Cancerian, and Virgo. Wow, look at this. They try. They completely try to let you go, and they're not able to. This is them missing you, reminiscing of you. But this Knight of Wands showing up twice already concerns me. Yeah, it's concerning. Let me see what's going on here. Universe, please show us. What's going on currently with the soulmate of Aries? And how is the soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time? Aha, uh -huh. yeah. I felt this coming. So you have new soulmate on the horizon. I love the new soulmate's energy. King of Pentacles, you see. Kings and queens can offer a relationship that's healthy. That's monogamous. That's long term, you see. And my favorite king of all kings is king of pentacles, you see. This person of yours that wants to return to you, the knight of wands person, is concerned that if they don't hurry up, if they don't take action, you're going to be in a relationship with somebody else because they view you as the catch. So they know if they view you as the catch, so do others. And they are co correct. Um, you, you just showed up minutes ago as queen of pentacles whether you're male or female, and the new soulmate showed up as your matching energy, king of pentacles. You see? How beautiful is this? Oh, the best card in the whole deck, the sun. Oh, my goodness. This is your match right here. This is your match. Mm -hmm. You know that old saying, you have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find a real prince. You see? So this is your match right here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So, you know this person from past lifetimes, not surprising, right? You are supposed to meet them again in this lifetime, you see? You are meant to meet again in this lifetime, Wheel of Fortune, past life history. What you're going to do with this person will be up to you, okay? You have free will to decide whether you want this person as an acquaintance, friend, more than friend, or nothing. See, you are in charge, in control of your life. Oh, my goodness. So... The soulmate that wants to return to you, <clears throat> now showing up a spycraft card, 
Page of Swords. They concern that if they wait too long, you are going to be with somebody else. They checking up on you heavily, spying on you, keeping tabs on you, watching videos like this, doing private readings, checking up on your social media if you have any. Yeah, this person now realizes your worth value after they lost you. And this is them checking up on you quite heavily and regularly. Hmm. Aries, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask both of these soulmates since they both clearly showed up. First, we're going to ask about the soulmate uh, that wants to return to you for communication. We're going to ask about the true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they're currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they're hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate that showed up in the reading, as King of Pentacles, new soulmate, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family members, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.